to prove this trig identity is correct, you got to know the formula that sine of a plus b equal to sine a cosine b minus uh, plus sine cosine a sine b. Okay, there's a trick how to memorize this one. Sine is one of the nice function. It follows that it's fair, okay? Cosine is the one nice and it's fair. Cosine is the one that's not fair, and in a minute you'll see why. Anyway, for sine, you have a sine and cosine, and cosine and sine, you switch them around. Also, sine follows this sine. So I always tell my si students, sine follows the sine. Okay, now take a look at what happens on cosine. Cosine of A plus B, cosine is not a fair fellow, so it's cosine AB, it's very selfish, it stays on its own, and it goes reverse of the sine. So if it's a plus, it actually goes a minus. Okay, so remember, sine follow the sine, it's a nice fellow. Okay, nice and fair fellow. All right, so in order to prove that sine of pi over x plus 2, uh, over 2 plus x, let's just open it up. So we have sine, now remember sine is a nice fellow, right? So it's cosine of x plus cosine of pi over 2 and sine of x, All right? Now, when you have to evaluate this one, draw the curves. For cosine curve, it starts high. So I pi over 2, it's actually 0. So this term gets to be 0. Okay. And then on the sine curve here, let's draw the sine curve. Sine curve is a very ordinary, it starts from the 0, 0. I pi over 2, it's 1. So we like that. So this one is equal to 1 times uh, cosine of x, which equal to cosine of x, and thus completes your proof. All right, this helped. Have a confident day.